Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. As part of the usual, I am Cobble S. Cobble. Greetings and salutations, and welcome to 2024. I'm glad you're a part here, and you're glad to keep coming back to the channel. For those that are enjoying the content, please give us a like and a subscription so you can see the variety of other playlists that we have available crossing several different things. Uh, today we're heading back to the Magic and uh, Magic the Gathering, and for my last video, we a lot of people shared the same sentiment of where the game's going. As a comparison, uh, this uh, uh, acquisition came up a little while ago. It's a little, it's a, it's a little bit old. It's Zendikar Rising. Now, funny story about this one: you get uh, 10 15 card Zend uh, Zendikar Rising draft boosters. So there's actually more cards in this actual box than normal shit, so, compared to the new shit. Let's see here. So, yep, yeah, we got some, like I said, we got Zendikar Rising. We got some of the alternate art, They're relatively the same amounts, but the key thing being the 10-15 card packs. So essentially we're getting 150 cards to play with in building a deck Four is in the car rising. Now, with that, you have the ability to build at least two decks with the cards available. So, without further ado, let's get into it and get back to us unboxing more stuff. So, so you see the first card we're going to have is the Jakarlix the Raging Island as our Leviathan Crab as our oh for hold on a second my, my screen's fuzzy as hell so my apologies but yeah we got the crab or the autofocus which is not doing its job which is fine then we have like I said we got all of our flashy planes uh, all the holographic planes and islands and all that fun jazz that we usually get in every single pack. So, kind of a probably little shadow. It is actually a sunny day ish. The temperature is actually normal. It's up in the 20s and 30s compared to the last several a uh, week and a half of being just very brutally cold. So. Just sort these out really quick. And we got like the 10 foils of oh, the 50 foil lands. Is that five of each? Yeah. No, that's one, two, three. Yeah, four of each land type. So that's 20 of the hollow lands. And then we have the additional lands that come in there to get the other bits. So we're gonna do this like we do all the other vids. We're gonna open up. We're gonna you're gonna open the box with me, and we're gonna see what we get. So, so with all that said, we'll put these up here, and then we'll have a commons, uncommons, rare, and more mythic sections on there as well. So. And you can see there's not a bunch of shiny, fancy wizards like all the last previous boxes. We got, like I said, for the, the basic uh, blocking and attacking cards that come with the deck. Just uh, how to cast spells. Kind of the standard cards that help for new bring new players in their basic functionality. But, yeah, but like I said, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 packs. Compared to several other small ones, but without further ado, let's get this going. Well, let's see here. We have. I'm not sure, what's the best way to do this with my camera placing? Ah, well, we'll just make this work. We got the Innerant. Uh, Endorant Rage, uh, two drop, one colorless, one red. Instant, target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn, scry 
one. Yeah, that glare is real bad. So scribe one, for those that are, not, are wondering, was the ability to look at the top of your library and put the card back in the deck. Next one up is into the royal, uh, into the ro uh, royal. It's a one drop. It's a two drop. One colorless, one blue. Instant kicker. One colorless, one blue. Uh, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. If this spell was kicked, draw the card. So nice bouncy spells. Next we have Smite of the Monstrous. It's a four drop, three colorless, one white, instant. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Next up, we have Synchronized Spellcraft. Uh, five drop, four colorless, one red, instant. Synchronized Spellcraft deals four damage to target creature and X damage to that creature's controller, where X is the number of creatures in your party. Your party consists of up to one each of the Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, and Wizard classes. So essentially a, a creature-based uh, spell that can do up to potentially 5-10 damage, depending on how you build the deck. can be real bad real quick. Next up we have the Dauntless Survivor. Two drop, um, one colorless, one green. When Dauntless uh, Survivor enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. It's a 1-1. One -one. Next, we have the Blood Price. Four drop, three colorless, one black, sorcery. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library. In any order, you lose two life. Next up, we have Alternate Art uh, Acrobom. Uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher the shit out of that name. But Aconum Hellhound, 1 drop, zero, 01, Elemental Dog, Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, the Hound gets plus 2, plus 2 to land a turn. Very useful. Next up, we have Bubble Snare, 1 drop, Enchantment Aura, Kicker 3, 2 colorless, 1 blue, Enchant Creature. When uh, Bubble Snare enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature does not untap during its controller's next untap step. Next up, we have Cliffhaven uh, Kite Sail. One drop artif artifact equipment. When Cliffhaven uh, um, Kit Sail enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. A creature has flying with a crit cost of two. Next up, we have the Spitefire Largic. Four drop, three colorless, one red, three four. Creature Lizard, whenever, uh, with landfall, whenever land enters the battlefield, you control Spitfire, deals one damage to each opponent. That could be very useful. That's the uncommon pile. Just back it up a little bit more. Next up, we have uh, Base Camp. My old folks doesn't work very well. Basic uh, Base Camp, a land drop. It's a land. Basic Camp enters the battlefield tapped. Add Charge Counter. Uh, tap additional. Add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, or Wizard spell, or to activate abilities of a Cleric, Rogue, war uh, Warrior, or Wizard. So it's more of a character-driven deck, this set. Next up, we have the cons Concerted Defense, one drop, uh, blue, instant, counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays one, plus an additional one colorless for each creature in your party. So it's kind of going along with like a D&D &D party per se. Next up, we have uh, Spike Field Hazard, one drop, instant. Spike, uh, Spike Field Hazard deals one damage to any target. If a permanent deals damage, this would die this turn. Exile it instead. Alrighty. And the rare of the deck is a Swamp short, uh, Shambler. One drop, zero, zero. Uh, it's a Fungus Beast. Swarm and a Shambler enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it becomes a target of spell or opponent's control, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. Uh, one colorless tap, put a 1-1 counter on the Swarm Shambler. So that's our rare for the deck. 
We have a full art land, which are always nice. I always like the full arts. And then we have an illusion token. All right, that's one pack down. Next one up. We have another Rage. Uh, we have a new one, a Field Research. Three drop, two colorless, one blue. Sorcery, kicker three. Draw uh, two colorless, one blue. Draw through two cards. If the spell was kicked, draw three cards instead. Yes, yes, doing research. Next up, we have a Cliffhaven uh, Cell Sword. Two drop, uh, one colorless, one white, three one. Uh, core Warrior. Nothing too fancy, just straight up warrior. Next up, we have Broken Wings. Three drop, two colorless, one green. Instant, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Next up, we have Deadly Alliance. Four drop, uh, five drop, four colorless, one black. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Uh, next up, we have the Seagate uh, Bannernet, a one drop, one colorless, one white, one two, uh, pay four colorless white, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Next up, we have Scale the Heights, three drop, two colorless, one green, put a one one counter up to one target creature, you gain two life, you may play an additional land this turn, draw a card. Not bad for a three drop. Get a land, get a counter, and get two life. Not bad for a for three drop. Next up, we have a Cleric of the Chill Depths. Two drop, one three, Merfolk Cleric. One colorless, one blue. Whenever Cleric of Chill Depths blocks a creature, that creature does not untap during its next controller's untap step. Next up, we have the Expedition Champion. Three drop. Two colorless, one red, two three, human warrior. Expedition champion gets plus two and as long as you control another warrior. Next up we have the Thundering, Thunder Ring Spark Mage. Four drop, two colorless, uh, three colorless, one red, two two. When Thunder Ring Spark uh, Mage enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker where X is the number of creatures in your party. So that could be very useful and not very pleasant. Next up we have a paired tactician, three drop, three color, um, two colorless, one white, three two. Human warrior, whenever paired tactician at the le uh, and at least one other warrior attacks, pull a one counter on paired tactician. Uh, we have uh, Vast Wood Fortification, one drop, Forest, uh, Instant, put a 1-1 counter on target creature, and apparently it can tap for land. Oh, actually, that, never mind. It's a dual purpose. I didn't know it was a dual. So, Vashborn Thicket is a land whenever it enters the battlefield tapped at a forest. So, not sure how that transit. There's probably cards that transition or make them flip, so... We have a land, or we have a wall encounter. Next up, we have the Carnegie uh, Intimidator. Two drop, three one. One colorless, one red. Cowards can't block warriors. Choose one. Uh, one colorless. Choose one that has, hasn't been chosen this turn. The Intimidator gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Target creature becomes a coward until end of turn, or target warrior gains trample until end of turn. That's the rare. And we have a dual land, which is kind of different. You can either play the Murkwater Pathway, which is a swamp land, or you can play with the, or the other one, as soon as I actually go pick the card up. Or you can play with the Clearwater Pathway. It's a land there. So essentially you can really use it for either or, a blue or a black. So that's an interesting land concept that I haven't actually seen yet. 
you got another full land, art land. And apparently we have our fill our own card in. So you can use this card to represent a double face card. Okay, so it just covers up one side if you choose to. Okay. Interesting. Next up, we have the Scorch Rider, four drop, three colorless, one red, four three, kicker two, one colorless, one red. When Scorch Rider enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, it gains haste until end of turn. Next up, we have the Chilling Tap, uh, Chilling Trap. One blue, instant, target creature gets minus four, minus zero until end of turn. If you control a wizard, draw the card. Uh, next one is the uh, Kaburai, Kabura, Kabura, yeah, Kabura. Outrider, four drop, three colorless, one white, three three. Human warrior, when uh, Outrider enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each creature in your party. So. Let's keep it going. Next up, we have the Tarjul, the Tarjuru, Tarjuru. Well, I'm, I'm going to butcher it, so I apologize in advance. Blight Blade, one drop, one uh, forest, Elf Rogue, one one, Death Touch. Next up, we have Oblivion's Hunger, two drop, one colorless, one black, instant. Target creature you control gains Instructable on a turn. Draw a card if that creature has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, next up is Royal Roll Ex uh, Eruption. Two drop, one colorless, one red. Kicker five. If Roll Eruption deals 3 damage to any target, if the spell was kicked, deals 5 damage instead for a 2-drop. Next up, we have the Stonework uh, Patch Beast. 2 colorless, 2-1 two beast. Stonework uh, Patch Beast is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Uh, apparently it's a shapeshifter that has all those uh, character types, so... Uh, two colorless. Add one mana to your any. Uh, add one mana of any color. So usually, if you have mana, my problem is that's a nice mana fixer and creature fixer per se. Next up, the uh, Makar Malker Blood Priest. Two drop. Two one. Vampire cleric. When uh, Malker. Blood Priest enters the battlefield. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is the number of creatures in your party. We have the classic disenchant. Two drop, one colorless, one white. Instant destroy target artifact or enchantment. Next up we have the uh, Shareford, uh, the Shepherd of Heroes, four draw, uh, five, it's a five drop, four colorless, one white, three, four, Angel Cleric, flying when uh, Shepherd of Heroes enters the battlefield, you gain two life for each creature in your party. Next up, next up we have the Blood Chief's Thress, uh, Thirst, I think it is, yeah. One drop, uh, one black, uh, one drop, black, sorcery, kicker, two colorless, one black. Destroy target, creature, or planeswalker with converted mana cost two or less. If this spell was kicked, instead destroy target, creature, or planeswalker. So pay additional four, wipe the board of somebody. Intriguing. Next up, we have the uh, Shatter Skull Minotaur. Uh, six drop, four colorless, two red, five four, Minotaur Warrior. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. Uh, 
Uh, we have a dual, another dual card. Uh, we have the Skyclave uh, Baskilla. It's a land, uh, comes in the battlefield tap, add a white, or we can do the Skyclave, uh, the Skyclave Cleric, two drop. One colorless, one white, one three, core Cleric. When enters the battlefield, gain two life. Next up, we have the Arkhan uh, of Immersa. A three drop, uh, two colorless, one white, two three, Akron, uh, Arkhan, Arkhan. Flying, each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. Non basic lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. So that's our rare. Another full art land. And then we got a token for a goblin construct. A zero one token artifact creature goblin construct. This creature can't block. At the end of your upkeep, this creature deals one damage to you. All right, next one. We're on number, we're halfway through. Almost halfway through. Next up, we have the Teaker Part, uh, Teaker Peak Ambusher, uh, Ambush, er, two drop, one colorless, one red, one three, uh, Goblin Warrior, uh, tap two colorless, or no, just pay two colorless, one red. Uh, the Ambusher gets plus two until end of turn, so you can play that as many times as you have mana. Uh, apparently that's anti-cognition. Two drop, one colorless, one blue. Instant, counter targets creature or planeswalker spell unless its controller pays two. If an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, instead counter that spell, then sky two. We got another Outrider. We have the Scavenged Blade, two drop. Uh, one colorless, one red, artifact and equipment. Uh, when scaver, uh, scavenged blade enters the battlefield, attach it to our creature you control. Equip creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has an equip cost of plus uh, two colorless, one red. Next up, we have uh, Hagnar, Hagnar, Constrictor. Three colorless, uh, three uh, three drop, two colorless, one black, zero zero snake. Uh, the constructor enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Each creature you control with a plus one plus counter on it has menace. For those that are wondering, a creature with menace can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Next up, we have reclaim the wastes. One drop sorcery, one fo uh, forest kicker three. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. If the spell was kicked, search your library for two basic land cards instead of one. Uh, next up, we have the Grotag Bug Catcher. Grotesque. Grotag uh, Bug Catcher. Two drop. One colorless, one red. One two. Goblin Warrior. Trample. Whenever the bug catcher, uh, bug catcher attacks, it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn for each creature in your party. Uh, next up, we have the Prowling Fendinar. Four drop, two three, two three colorless, one blue, cat beast, vigilance, landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on the Prowling Fendar. And we have it looks like we have an alt art of the dread worm five uh, five drop four colorless one black uh, five four whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control dread worm gains indestructible until end of turn next up we have the grotag night runner three uh, three drop two three two colorless one red goblin rogue Whenever a Night Runner deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. 
So, does damage to a player exile a top card of your library? You may play that card this turn. So essentially, I get a free spell, per se. Uh, that's more cards more together. Next up, we have the core blade master two drop. Uh, one one core warrior, one colorless, one white. Double strike, equipped warriors you control have double strike. Next up, we have the Skyclave uh, Pickaxe. Oh, a colored artifact, just a force drop, artifact, equipment. When Skycard Pickaxe enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, equipped creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn, with a quip cost of three. Uh, the rare of the deck is the Bright Clam uh, Climb Pathway, uh, the White Land, or you have the Grime Clam Pathway, uh, the Black Land. So that's the rare of that pack. We got a uh, Gashly uh, Gloom Mat Hunter. Uh, it's a foil. Two drop, one one, zombie bat, one colorless, one black. Uh, kicker four. Three colors, one black. Flying lifelink. If uh, Ganache, um, Gloom Hunter was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two 1 1 counters on it. Another full art land. And another card for the dual purposes. Alright, we got three minutes left, so I can get probably one more pack in, and then we'll uh, switch to video two of this. I think we got five packs left. Yeah, we have five packs left. Chilling Tap, we've already uh, talked about. Smite of the Monstrous, we've already talked about. The Marauding, Maraudering uh, Blight Priest, three color, uh, three drop, three two, vam Vampire Cleric, two colorless, one black. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses life. So that could be useful. Uh... We already talked about this guy, the blade work, blade blade, uh, the blight blade. Uh, we have share supplies, two drop artifact, two colorless. Spare supplies enters the battlefield. Tap when spare supplies enters the battlefield. Draw the card. Tap two sack sprite to draw the card. Next up, we have the ghoul draz uh, mucklord. Uh, three drop. Uh, two three, uh, two colorless, one black crocodile. When uh, Mucklord dies, and uh, put a one one counter on target creature you control. Next up, we have the Marusa Brute, three drop. Um, two colorless, one green, three three, a troll warrior. Next up, we have Namana. Namana Sky Dancer, three drop, uh, two co um, two colorless, one black, two one. Flash flying when the Sky Dancer enters the battlefield. Target opponent mills two cards. You can just do without a boomerang and just keep on making people mill. Next up, we have the Cunning uh, Geyser Mage, three drop, two colorless, one blue, three two. Human Wizard Kicker, two colorless, one blue. When the cunning uh, geyser mage enters the battlefield, if you were if it was kicked, return up to one other tart creature to its owner's hand. So there you go, blue black combination. We have a skyclave uh, sentinel, three drop, two three, uh, gargoyle, kicker four, flying defender. If skyclave sentinel was kicked, enters the battlefield with two one one counters on it. As long as Skyclave Sentinel has a 1-1 one, one counter on it, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. And with that, uh, we're running out of time, so I thank you again for coming out to the channel. And until next time, this is Gobble S. Cobble saying have a good day, and we shall see you for part two in the next one.